Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch another Sophia Polk Realty's Tips That Matter. Today I have with me a very special guest. His name is Mike Gandy, and he is the owner of Lighthouse Engineering here in Dallas, Texas. Mike has over 20 years of experience as a professional engineer. Mike, how are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. Wonderful. So tell me a little bit about your background and who you are in your company. Yeah, thank you. Just before we start, I just wanted to thank you uh, for the honor of being with you today. I work with hundreds of agents, and I, I think Sophia Polk is the class act. Well, uh, I appreciate that. I, I enjoy being <laughs> part of your team. Thank you, and we appreciate you as well. <laughs> so uh, you're right. I'm a licensed professional engineer uh, that requires a college degree, education, uh, testing by the State Board of Engineers, and then continuing education to maintain the license. Okay. Uh, I have a bachelor's degree in engineering and a master's in engineering. Um, and I have, I'm the chief engineer at Lighthouse Engineering. We're based here in Dallas. I've been running that firm since 2005. Excellent. Well, I know you've helped many clients of mine and you're not just a single engineer. You have a firm with other engineers underneath of you and you actually are a little bit more specialized um, tell me a little bit about like the forensics sure. engineering and things That's like right. that that you do well at, at lighthouse engineering we have four engineers um, we have two senior staff engineers and two uh, younger mentoring engineers we specialize in a area called forensics engineering which includes things like construction defect conflict resolution between homeowners or builders. Uh, we work with some insurance companies, 10-year uh, structural warranty clients. Okay. And so uh, we're kind of the problem solvers. The, the motto of our firm is what happened, whose fault is it, and how do we fix it? Awesome. <laughs> so with that being said, is that a lot of residential or commercial? It's both, light residential and commercial. Okay. Uh, our firm doesn't specialize in design, original design. We're on the fix-it side. Okay, perfect. <laughs> now, if somebody has a problem, when do they decide that they're going to call an engineer? Well, that's an interesting question. Most people will see cracks in the sheetrock or cracks in their brick or maybe cracks in their tile. And those could be indicators of movement, but in my experience, the vast majority, 95% of the cracks that people are concerned about, really are just normal age-related types of movement. Okay. What we call normal seasonal movement. And the vast majority of cracks in the sheetrock and in the brick, I, I, I talk to about them like smile lines. As we, okay. Okay, <laughs> as we move the same way every day, we get smile lines in our hands and in our cheeks. And the house does the same thing. That's just where it wants to move. It, they're like little smile lines. And as we get older, the cracks get bigger. And the same with the house. Don't forget, you know, houses are made out of building materials like bricks and wood and concrete and those things right. move. They right. expand and contract. Seam lines between That's drywall. It. Between drywall. Or trim pieces. There's a lot of things that cause cracking other than foundation movement. Uh, things like wind pressure. Okay. Uh, differences in your HVAC, heating and cooling. Just the human activity, closing doors and in and out of doors and teenagers <laughs> banging ah, the door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> banging the doors. <laughs> Uh, vibrations in the earth, you know, the earth is vibrating all the time and those vibrations travel through the structure and they cause cracks. So not every crack is meaningful. Okay. So if someone sees minor settling cracks, like something that we would see on your hand, that doesn't necessarily mean their foundation is failing. That's right. So if somebody sees lines that are significant, mm -hmm. when do you determine whether that is a foundation crack or whether sure. it's not. I think you were mentioning um, there were three different types of cracks. Tell me a little bit about those. Okay. In terms of brick cracks, there I kind of say there's three kinds of brick cracks. There's diagonal brick cracks. Okay. Those are the ones that are at diagonal stair step. It doesn't matter if they go through the bricks or not. It, that doesn't matter. 
the, their diagonal. Diagonal cracks usually indicate settlement, where the foundation is settling downward. Significant movement, where there may need to be a foundation. I wouldn't even categorize it as significant. Okay. It could be. Okay. But again, the vast majority of those are not significant. Okay. And then the other kind of brick crack is a horizontal brick crack, where a crack kind of follows a mortar line. Left to right. Yeah, right, okay. like right along the horizontal line. Those typically indicate where the foundation is moving upward. Okay. okay. And then the vertical ones that we see like under windows, the ones that are just kind of vertical, those are almost always just normal thermal expansion. The sun heats the brick in the afternoon, cools off at night, heats in the afternoon, cools off at night, and that thermal movement causes vertical cracks. Okay. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you would like to view other helpful tips, click here. If you would like to view a neighborhood we specialize in, click here. And to subscribe and stay updated, click on the circle below. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.